the purse almost a quarter of a million dollars for the 2003 Simcoe Stakes, and the three-year-old pacing fillies are off. Watching Umbro Amaretto from the outside, Jasper Avenue is leaving aggressively, and Fan for Life is out of there. First down to the pylon, Stonebridge Kisses. Takes fourth position, Penny Arcade followed up in fifth. Please Me Please, sixth on the outside, Westbourne second to last, and Trust Me Ashley is the early trailer. As they round the first turn, it's Jasper Avenue. Umbro Amaretto got into the three-hole, but is already up and driving. The quarter was 26 and four. Umbro Amaretto, post-time favored, slides up on the outside to over take Jasper Avenue up to three-eighths completion. Fan for Life sits there in third. Stonebridge Kisses tags the leaders from fourth. Two more lengths to Penny Arcade. Going to close that gap from back in fifth. On the way to the half, and there goes Please Me Please, taken to the outside. On her cover is Trust Me Ashley, and now the trailer, Westbourne. It's Umbro Amaretto, the leader of length, and it's a tight length. Jasper Avenue right there, second in 55 and four. Going on to the final turn, Umbro Amaretto and Steve Condren. Jasper Avenue right there tagging along. Please me, please the first over attacker. Three-eighths of the mile to go and Fan for Life is on the inside back in fourth. Last in the early going was Trust Me Ashley, but she's right in the thick of it now. Second over into the top five. The trailing trio at head stretch are Stonebridge Kisses Westbourne and Penny Arcade by two more along the inside. Armbro Amaretto, please me, please. Jasper Avenue is in the box. They've passed three quarters in 124 and one down the stretch. It's in the 2003 Simcoe Stakes, please me, please, Armbro Amaretto having a long battle. Armbro Amaretto still a short lead. Please me, please, has been going boldly first over. Armbro Amaretto, please me, please, Armbro Amaretto, iron tough winner of the Simcoe Stakes. Over please me, please, Jasper Avenue, trust me, Ashley was fourth, 151 and four. That's a stakes record, just missed the track record by a fifth of a second. What an effort by Armbro Amaretto. Back as the ninth race winner at Mohawk of the Simcoe Grand Circuit Stakes of 2003, three-year-old Philly Pace. The Arch Place three-year-old Bay Philly from Singing for Supper, owned by Big Al Stables of Thornhill, trained by David Smith and driven to victory by Steve Condren. She was two-fifths of a second better than the previous stakes record, which had stood for four years by Triplet Hanover in 1999. 151 and 4, the new stakes record, just a fifth of a second off the three year old pacing Phillies track record here at Mohawk. Umbro Amaretto, another memorable effort to win the 2003 Simcoe Grand Circuit Stakes. Here with the uh, winning connections, Armbro Amaretto uh, bouncing back tonight in a big way. Uh, Steve disappointing in the fan Hanover uh, in how things turned out. Nice to see her bounce back with this kind of a race. Yeah, great horses are great horses, and she is definitely one. Uh, it's too bad she got a roughed up trip in the final of the fan, but she come right back tonight, you know, short of grit, and, you know, she was the champion that she is. 51-4 and four tonight, and uh, considering track conditions and uh, the fact that the front end really hasn't been holding up tonight, was that an extra big trip? Yeah, I would say so. Uh, I don't know why the track just doesn't have a lot of bounce to it tonight, but uh, I mean that's a heck of a mile for her, and you know, and she's, uh, you know, she shows what she has all the time, and you know, she's just a great filly. Just take us from the head of the stretch home. You had a good one uh, bearing down on you. Any concerns? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, I'd like to have stole a little bit more of a third quarter than what I did, but uh, you know, she's just that type of mare. You know, when she started her up, I mean, she looks like you're going to get to her, but she just keeps on trucking. All right, Steve, big night for you. Congratulations. Great, thanks very much. Steve Condren, the winning driver, and a happy Dave Smith joining me as well. Uh, Dave, for you, must must be some relief as well. Uh, a tough trip in the fan of Hanover, and uh, right back to herself tonight. Yeah, well, uh, it was a tough trip, and uh, just like every time she races, she always bounces right back, ready for the next start. So. I think uh, a lot of folks wondering what her game plan is for the rest of the year. Maybe you can uh, fill us in on that. Well, we got her spread out. There's about three, four more major stake races for her, but we got two to three weeks in between each, and uh, she'll rest up now and probably start one more time, maybe qualify, and then head to Lexington for two weeks. And beyond this season, uh, can we expect to, to see her back next year? I know a lot of people are hoping so. I, I hope so, too. Uh, she's strong, she's healthy, and uh, I think she deserves another year, Adam. Okay, and uh, does Steve Condren get around a golf out of this? He sure does. Probably a week Thursday if he wants. Might even get a free before him. All right, congratulations. Good luck in the golf game. Thanks a lot. Dave Smith, winning conditioner, Ambro Amaretto. She is back on top tonight with a win on the Simcoe in 51-4. and four.